Okay, so dear Dhamma practitioners, be comfortable with yourself and relax your body. Keep your back straight, neck head straight in one line and your right palm on your left. So gently close your eyes and bring your attention to this bell sound. And while you're focusing to the sound, you can mentally relax your body, relax your mind and relax your breathing with your thoughts. Do nothing extra. Just follow the sound, please. Namo tasa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa Namo tasa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa Namo tasa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa Homage to the blessed one the exalted one, the fully enlightened one. So dear Dhamma practitioners, before we start our practicing session, we'll take few minutes to, to understand how this practice can help for us to develop ourselves. So when it comes to meditation, the very main purpose of this practice is cultivating our own heart, cultivating our own mind. So when it cultivate, only thing that you have to do, make some space, give some space for yourself. Why? Because we always hold it to something, grasping something, clinging something, projecting something, visualizing something, dreaming something, hoping something. So when your mind interferes with certain thoughts or the intention or the desire, when your mind, when your thoughts occupied with something, You are not free. So then we find a place, we create a place ourselves to, to develop this freedom rather than thinking pattern or the thoughts. So how we do that, that is how we're going to settle down with the present moment with our primary mental object, observing our own inhalation, exhalation. When you come to the present moment, your mind get out of the greed, hatred or the delusion. So mind always go with the greed, hatred, delusion when there are thoughts interfere with related to your past or the future. So in this very present moment, if you're able to settle down with your own inhalation, exhalation, or any sensation, or any feelings, or even your bodily posture, so in that very moment, you come to the 
the highest level of your human existence. So when it comes to tranquility state, and they, we call it Samatha Bhavana, tranquility state, Chitta Bhavana. So one of the, the nature of this tranquility state, it brings us the completion. As a human being, in this ordinary life, with your body and mind and nature, you become complete, you become one, when it comes to tranquility state. In another way, it calls Samma. Samma means that as you know, the Eightfold Path, we call Samma, Dikti Samma, Sankappa, Samma, Vacha, the Samma. That means also complete, the highest, fulfillment. And another way it take as right also. So right mean also the complete. So in our human life, the moment by moment to be spending this time period, mostly is not complete because of a half of the mind depending from the past or the future. And then always we create a gap in our life, moment by moment. So, but if you are able to develop the completion, each and every minute that you spend, if you become complete in that minute, if you expand the duration for a one hour, in that one hour you become complete and maybe and then if you expand that duration to one day that day become complete and that is where deeply you gain the satisfaction confidence so this is your own behavior it is not something else it is your own conscious decision but we, we have inability to change. We have inability to give up or release. We have inability to, to be with the moment. So then moment by moment, you have to, you have, to have the, the conscious effort to get out of that inability. And uh, when it comes to that, the very behavior that we, we, we already have is very important because from this point, we're going to do something. And then when it comes to that, you, you already heard the word monkey mind. The soul is jumping here and there. If you go a little bit further, you will recognize monkey heart. The monkey mind that needs in the surface level. How about the monkey heart? Deeply grasping to emotions and looking for repetition and enjoying that repetition, like the squirrel, you know, the, in, the, in the cage, you may have seen the squirrels, you know, going round and again and again and again, and they enjoy it. They play with it, but they don't recognize, they go in the same circle, and they don't maybe understand they are in a cage but they keep going the, and keep running the same circle and they enjoy. So that monkey heart also the same. It takes us a journey, make us busy, 
and we do lot of things but to fulfill the same kind of emotions just look for just for a day look yourself and from morning to night with your all bodily verbally mental action what you do you just maintain your life that is it but developing life cultivating life and maintaining life is so different totally different things so we are mostly just we want to maintain our life but underneath that our emotions our behavior our desires keep growing 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 become a stronger while you are maintaining your life but if you come to the point to cultivate your life every day each and every moment morning to night put effort rather than maintaining yourself because this maintaining never going to end put some effort to cultivate your life allow you to grow day by day day by day day by day that is where you going to experience the fulfillment of live this life that is where you come to the end of the day with the completion maintaining also you can come to the point to make just to complete like yesterday whatever you have done and today you do the same thing whatever you have done like last week this week you have you do the same thing whatever you have done overall in the last month and this month also the same thing you have done you become happy so this is what mostly we do and then the then we again we running for the next day the next week or the next month or maybe for the next year so then we have to keep thing we have to look ourselves and see where are this going to end why we keep doing this for what it's because we mostly this we bound to um, our emotions and monkey heart that's why so then the meditation is a method get out of that your monkey heart and you come to the the point to dual of buddha nature so the buddha when it come to the buddha so it is a, it is not a person it is a quality that you dual of in the human mind human heart the highest the greatest quality that you gain as a human being is the buddhahood so then you are capable to do that but if you are maintaining something then you go you will go with it and you not you not going to grow but if you allow yourself to grow every day fulfilling developing yourself then in a certain level you going to end with the enlightenment because that is the highest level that you can experience so this meditation take you in that path and in that path sometimes if you don't put the effort and you if you come if you don't develop the awareness what will happen our own believing our own methods our own history will facilitates us with the emotional comfort but that way you you cannot gain that change then you have to come to point each and every single moment to be new and look according to necessary course and conditions in that environment 
not with your past experience. And that is where you go into develop the wisdom, knowledge, to behave according to how things come to be as they are. That is the, that is the, the highest level of living. You have no plans, you have no preconditioned mind, you are not depending from karma, you are not depending from vasana, you are not depending from hopes, you are not depending from dreams, you just <clears throat> go according to necessary cause and conditions with understanding. But as you know, in life, sometimes when things happen, mostly bad things happen, sad things happen. Sometimes people come and say, don't worry, everything happened for a reason. That's, that's good for babysitting. You know, when you come to the point to understand if everything happened for a reason, what you put into you, it's kind of like a, your life free condition. That means it's already that uh, written for you. Then you become kind of like a puppet. You cannot do anything. You just have to go according to whatever, the, whatever happens. But when it comes to this tranquility meditation and vipassana meditation, you come to a point to understand within right now, right here. That is the most important place that you have. Your present moment, not tomorrow, not yesterday. This moment, you come to the point and understand whatever happened to you, it not happened for a reason. But when you become mindful and then you can understand that things happen according to course and conditions and out of that whatever we hold whatever we have the view and out of that view we create reasons that's what you can understand. When you recognize that key, you, you can change your life up and down. When things happen according to course and conditions, and according to our mind, according to our view, we create reasons. So, if you go with the moment by moment, moment by moment, you're not going to depend on preconditioned life or preconditioned mind or preconditioned reasons. You come to a point to become like a bird, become like the wind, become like the cloud, become, become like the tree. Any direction you grow, become like the drop of water. You don't need any irrigation or navigations. You, that the itself, the drop of water has power to find the, the path, go towards the ocean. No one need to teach, no one need to school, no one need to, to give lectures. So like that, when you Tune to the present moment, you become like that drop of water. Because your mind has power to tune to recognition. That drop of water has power to find the, the ocean. It doesn't matter, it's far away in the middle of the jungle, in the forest, in the high mountain area. If the drop of water come to the ground and it just start to flow, find the path. So allow it to happen yourself. 
when you put ideas thoughts schooling believing system methods patterns you disturb to that so in the basic level that's why we come to a point to practice it ourselves little by little little by little not to bound to a, any kind of method but in the beginning you get into your own inhalation exhalation and you just simply observe it rather than developing a principle rather than developing any kind of boundary to bound just by yourself you become free following and observing your own inhalation exhalation you don't create a theory you just settle down there and then just simply observe and then you will see it change moment by moment moment by moment and each and every inhalation exhalation difference and when you keep observe that little by little little by little by the time you will recognize the inhalation exhalation and the observer the experiencer this all one there is no separation there is no inhalation happens here and somebody experience it if that inhalation or exhalation doesn't happen the experiencer cannot exist so then that's mean the inhalation exhalation itself is your existence so and it it is a process you cannot you cannot hold you cannot grasp just observe the very nature of inhalation exhalation it brings you the life and then when the exhalation happens and you have to let go it and that also create the life so so you are living with it not holding anything your body not holding grasping anything just in a process so why you cannot get this mechanism to your mind so very simple example you can gain observing your own inhalation exhalation you will see it brings you life it brings you satisfaction and at the same time it will go away without holding or without grasping without harboring anything so simply you have only the moment of experience that moment of experience bring you the life so if you hold it what will happen then you feel uncomfortable discomfort in a certain level if you keep holding 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 you going to end the process you will die so then the simple lesson understand and then develop ability to go with the process rather than we having inability to go with it so that simple dharma the simple lesson that you can gain out of your own inhalation exhalation and then itself you will recognize when the inhalation happens how your body feel and when the exhalation happened that releasing without holding anything that releasing itself bring the same kind of satisfaction that kind of that the same thing with the nibbana so we we have ability to we like to satisfied with with holding grasping clinging and claiming thinking oh this is me this is mine 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 but there is a way releasing that all bringing you more satisfaction same like you are inhalation bring you satisfaction but when the exhalation happens it make you more relaxed more comfortable more it brings more life to you 
So observe it and try to absorb it and be with it. And learn the dharma that always 24 seven with your entire body that you go through. And then that simply take it to your mind, take it to your heart and then apply it to your all bodily, verbally, mentally action. And then you will say, your life become like inhalation and exhalation. Any, any place, any moment, anything, it's not going to hold. But you will go through it, but you, you will enjoy the journey, but there is no moment to settle down. So that is what we're going to observe today and practice with our own inhalation exhalation. So let's get into practice now in your right palm on your left and make it straight in one line and be comfortable with your posture. Gently close your eyes and observe head to toes yourself and say so Patveva, oh, may I be well and happy. Three times. Take a moment and think. We gathered here in this moment to practice this ancient meditation technique. All the Buddhas, all the enlightened masters followed this path and achieved wisdom. So we also gathered here to accumulate that knowledge. In this moment with this sitting, may my body become more comfortable. May my breath be more smooth. May no difficulties come to me. May all the success come to me. Also think for a moment. This is the last moment we're spending in this very lifetime. And detach your mind from all your past memories and as well as any kind of future thoughts. Just try to remain in the present moment, observing the sensation of your inhalation and exhalation. So in the beginning, deeply and gently, Breathing, breathe out three times and find the sensation, please. And allow your inhalation, exhalations happen itself. Do nothing extra.
bring your attention to your body, please. Observe your posture. We cultivate loving kindness and compassion in our heart and radiate it as a light through entire your compound, village, city, state, country, world, around this universe. Also, as far as you can, through galaxies, other planets, or stars, reminding yourself like this. With clear intention, mentally, repeat after me. May all living beings in this universe be well and happy. May everyone be happy and safe. And may their hearts be filled with joy. May all living beings live in security and in peace. Beings who are frail or strong, tall or short, big or small, visible or not visible, near or far away. Already born or yet to be born. May all of them dwell in perfect tranquility. Let no one do harm to anyone. Let no one put the life of anyone in danger. Let no one out of anger or ill will wish anyone any harm. Expand the loving kindness and compassion beginning from your heart. Forward. Visualize yourself and send it as a light. To your backside. To your left side, and to your right side, downward. and upward. To all six directions at once, like the moon, the sun, spread the light, spread the energy, without any condition, without any limitation, without any resistance or without any judgment. Let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion from the bottom of it with the maximum effort to the highest, wishing yourself 
May all living beings in this universe be well and happy. Say sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. So first of all, we offer this practice to the great qualities of the Supreme Buddha, Dhamma and the Sangha. And also by the power of this meritorious deed, may all of us attain to the Supreme Bliss of Nibbana. Also we transfer this all merits to your guardian angels and deities. May they be able to gain these merits and increase their long duty and protect all of you from any kind of planetary influences or any ill effects. Ittavata cha mehi sampadam punya sampadam sabbe deva anumodam tu sabba sampatti siddhya sabbe bhuta anumodam tu sabba sampatti siddhya sabbe satta anumodam tu sabba sampatti siddhya Imaya Dhamma Nu Dhamma Patipatiya Buddham Pujemi Dhamma Pujemi Sangham Pujemi Attaya Imaya Patipatiya Jati Jara Vyadi Maranam Ha Paribunjisani Idam Me Punya Kammanga Savakaya Vangho Tu Sabadukka Pamunchatu Bless you.